in today's session we are going to perform update operations by using stored procedures before continuing to this session please watch my previous videos related to crud operations in asp.net core mvc by using edivo.net in the previous session we have missed to add the try catch block to the create action method for that i am going to select entire code here right click go to the snippet surround with here i am going to add ex and i am going to add this exception message here so if there is any exception it is going to return to the same view which is create view to update the data we have to create two action methods one is to get the data based on the id another one is post action method to update the data first we will create a get action method to get the data based on id this is going to be edit and i'll pass id here to read the employee data based on id we have to create one method for reading the data based on the id here we have to create one method to read the data based on the id i'm going to copy this method i'm going to reuse it here this will be get by id this will return only single employee so we don't want list here it should be employee so based on id we will get only one employee here here we have to pass the stored procedure to read the data based on the id for this we have created all the stored procedure in previous sessions so we have to copy the stored procedure name this will return employee details based on the id i replace here and we have to pass one parameter here that is id add with value this is the parameter name and value will be id here it will give the employee details and this is not required here here it is going to return the employee here we are going to pass the employee id to the stored procedure based on this id it will filter the data and it will return the employee details here and finally we are going to return the employee here now we can call this from our controller employee get by id and here it will expect id here we have to validate whether employee data is available or not if employee dot id is zero that means there is no data in the database with that id then we have to pass the message as error here we can define the id also id so if there is no data with the id which is passed by the user then we have to display the message like employee details not found with id which is passed by the user so this is going to be returned to the index action method else it will return to edit view with the employee details we have to keep entire things in try catch block if there is any exception we have to display this to user 
also we have to create another action method for post I'm going to copy this this will be post and here we have to pass the employee model these things we have to change it suppose model state is not valid we have to validate that then we have to display this message to the user already we used here model data is invalid we will use the same thing here and it will be returned to the view else we have to pass this data to data access layer for that we have to create one action method for update so we can reuse this insert method copying here I can paste it and I will make it as update so we have to pass stored procedure name here so this is the stored procedure name which we used for update so in previous sessions we have created all these stored procedures if you are new to my channel please watch my previous videos and please subscribe to my channel also we have to pass one more parameter here called id to update the data so this is the update method which is going to return bool so here we are passing the update stored procedure and along with all the input parameters so once it is executed we will get true or false so based on that we are going to display the message to the user here result Here we have to call the dial dot update method and we have to pass the model so that here we will receive true or false if say false then we have to display the message like unable to update the data already we used for create same thing we can reuse it here unable to update the data if it is success then employee details updated so these are all the validations we are going to implement it here here we have to remove this block so if result is false we are going to display this message like unable to update the data if it is success that means if it is result is true then we are going to display as employee details updated and finally once it is updated then we are going to redirect to index view now run the application So it is displaying all the details in the edit here I'm going to change mic and date of birth I will make it as 1987 and salary I will make it as 66,000 update it so employee details updated you can see this details has been changed here so edit functionality is working as we expected next session we are going to discuss about delete functionality in asp.net core mvc by using edivo.net that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching